All right, guys, so here's one you might not be aware of. So um, if I want to actually make these components like move like they normally would, like in real life, I mean, usually we think about putting things like mates in here, like uh, maybe we put a gear mate in so you get the ratio or like a rack and pinion mate, something like that. But that's not the only way to make these things actually interact with each other. There's another option, um, but before I can use it, I need to make sure that there's no interference between these. So I'm going to go over to my Evaluate tab and look for interference. So we'll calculate. Looks like I've got a small interference here. So I'm just going to go ahead and just move this slightly. We'll just check again for interference. Looks like we don't have any interference. OK, so the feature that I want to show you is over on the Assembly tab. We're going to use Move Component. And you know, usually people would use a standard drag or you know, turn on collision detection, move until it touches or something like that. But we can also use physical dynamics here. By default, it will do it between all components. So what I should be able to do is just grab this lower one here. And you can see without putting any gear mates in or anything, um, these components will actually interact with each other like they would in real life. So hopefully this helps you guys. Have a great day.